first video, we looked at major scales that all had the exact same fingering. Scales C, G, D, A, E, and B major. Now we're going to look at the remaining scales, which are F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat major. I call these category two scales because while they don't have the exact same fingering, they do share something in common. The thumb will always land on the notes F and C, placing the hand in the same position for all of these scales. For instance, just quickly, in F, starting with the thumb, it lands on F and C. Now if we go to B flat, we start with the second finger and the thumb lands on the C and the F still. Same with E flat. And once you start to see how this works, it makes it really easy to find your way around the keyboard and to land on the right notes and makes it very easy for you to not have to think about um, which finger to use for each note because really it falls nicely with your hand over the keys. So let's take a look at how this works. Before we look at this scale by scale, let's take an overview of what this looks and sounds like on the piano. Now let's break it down and see what it looks like for each of these scales. The F major scale uses a B flat as one of its scale tones. As shown, the fingering for F major is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is the fingering for the B-flat major scale. It uses the B-flat and E-flat as part of its scale. Begin with finger two. The E flat major scale adds the note A flat as a scale tone. You still begin on finger two. The thumb still lands on the notes F and C. At this point, you may begin to see some of the other similarities of category two scales. The A flat major scale adds the D flat as a scale tone. This scale you still begin using finger two and the thumb still lands on the notes F and C. Adding another flat, G flat, will give us the notes for the D flat major scale. You guessed it, it begins on finger two and the thumb lands on the notes F and C. The 
G flat major scale uses six flats. Add the C flat as a scale tone, which is a B natural on the piano. Start with finger two on the G flat. Thumb lands on the notes F and C flat, which is B. But the same motion still works for the scale, as only a slight adjustment needs to be made. In fact, your hand will use the exact same fingers for the notes of both the D flat and G flat major scales, except the C natural is used in the D flat major scale and the C flat is used in the G flat major scale. When looking at these scales as a group, we find that fingers 2, 3, and 4 land on the same letter name for every scale, sometimes as a natural, sometimes as a flat. Thus, the motion is the same, but for each scale, you simply start on a different note. Besides the thumb always landing on the notes F and C, Part of the reason why these scales use the same motion is that the index finger 2 will always land on D or D flat as well as G or G flat. The middle finger will always land on E or E flat and A or A flat. The ring finger 4 will always land on B flat. This puts the hand in a very similar position for all category 2 scales making it very comfortable to find the correct notes. I'll demonstrate this by playing one scale into the next using the same fingers on the same notes, give or take a flat. You'll see it. Another way you can look at this is if you took two scales from opposite ends of the spectrum, F major, that only has one flat, and G flat major, that has six flats, and looked at them side by side, you see that the hand does not change position. Here's F, here's G flat. So, the only thing that changes is my fingers shift a little bit down to here for G flat. Another cool thing about this approach is, once you learn all your major scales, when you start applying it to minor, it applies directly. If you play an E flat major scale, uses category 2. E flat minor also uses category 2. C major category 1. C minor same category 1. This becomes really important when we start to learn modes because it applies to all the modes with the exception of one but I'll get to that in future videos. But for now, work on your major scales. Learn all 12 major scales in each category, category one, category two, and you'll find that it'll make it a lot easier to get around the keyboard. All right, good luck with that.